everyone welcome to watch it paint it today i'm going to be unboxing another model box this is may 2018 it is the Miss and legend theme box if i'm not mistaken we'll find out when i open it apologize this is a little bit late that i've been on vacation as uh, some of you well know um uh it was a little bit interesting for me this arrived while i was away so one i had to avoid facebook make sure there was no spoilers for me but two it was like a little bit exciting you know like you know this is waiting for you when you get back from vacation so it sort of takes the edge off us I, I won't say i was happy to come back from <laughs> from holiday but at least this was waiting and it was one of the first things i grabbed i've just had five hours sleep got back at five in the morning i'm now going to open this for you let's have a look what we've got one of the first things i want to do that's i mean i'm not even unpacked yet so it shows you some sort of genuine excitement about these things i genuinely am pretty excited I do like these subscription boxes. If you're unaware of what this is, it is a subscription box, a bit like Loot Crate, and I'll put a link in the description below to the first one I ever did and explain it a little bit more just in case you're new to this concept. And I will also put a link to them and a discount code. I've got a little discount code, save you a little bit of money if you are interested in signing up to this service. Uh, let's have a look what we get. <gasps> there we go. So I was right. Uh, my memory was correct. It is the Myths and Legend myths and legends and then i will really look at this myself but it does explain a few things but i like the i i like looking and having no idea what it is so you guys can all mock me in the comments below it does tell you the next one i don't know if it did that before but it's war 2.0 so i guess they've done a war one before and this is a there'll be a new one next month oh i'm all, I, i've just seen so oh, i'm excited already guys uh, you, you've probably heard me saying i needed some bases I am certainly lacking in the base department. So what size are these? So these are by Renadra Limited, generic game pieces. It doesn't, uh, I love that a lot of this stuff is from the UK, which is lovely being in the UK myself and this being a UK company. So there's eight bases in here, just some base to stick some models or items or you know scenery, that sort of thing on. And it looks like some sort of cobblestone. It looks really good for like Black Plague, that sort of thing. Um, that looks decent, quite thin bases, which is nice. So they're quite big though. What's somebody can let me know in the comments. It probably says in here could uh, 40 mil. It does say, see, I can double check. And obviously you guys can look at this straight away if you're interested in actually knowing what stuff it is. Uh, but yeah, eight 40 mil bases. That's good. I needed some, I needed some last week for Hellboy. I could have popped him on one. Then we've got some Battlefield XP, the army painter. And these are um, toughs. I was going to say they're toughs. These are Highland toughs. So the different sizes, you get 12 big toughs, 35 medium toughs, and 30 little toughs, 77 toughs in total. Look at that. Gives you some examples. Shows you how to use it. Peel off, glue on, stick to base. Aha, I'll do a tutorial on this. See if I can do it in 30 seconds or less. But now that looks good. I wanted some toughs as well. Not sure that will go quite well with the grass that I've got, but we will find out in a tutorial coming soon, no doubt. Where to go next? I oh, should have done the sweet <gasps> Harry Bow and Tang Fastic. These are, these are Tang Fastic. I said that right. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Nobody will notice. Shh. But yeah, Harry Bow for once. I I actually like Harry Bow and I like the Tangy one. So those are those candies and sweeties are for me. Sorry, Benson. Dark Fable. So we get a miniature. What is this? This looks nice. It's quite quite detailed. Little warrior. She looks about 28 mil. Does it say fine quality miniatures? In in Leeds, so in the UK as well. It's quite local to me, 45 minutes away. Uh that looks decent. Don't know what it's for. Just a miniature. So I'll get Austin on the case as I always do. Make me some Black Plague zombie side custom characters. I can play with that. What else do we have? Let's have a look at the heavy, big, heavy guy. We've also got what is that? It's a Lady Viking. Does it say anywhere? Some sort of. That's a big model. It's really big, actually. Well, I mean, not really big, but it's pretty big for me. It's certainly not 28 mil. Let's. Somebody can let me know that scale, but that looks big. Nice base to pop her on. And a bit of already attached scenery for you. She sort of stood on some rocks, so that, that's pretty cool. Not quite sure what I'll use that for, but it's nice to have. Maybe this will be a, a sort of giveaway 
uh, one of those stuff pledges that I have on Patreon. So somebody can probably win a painter copy of that. Possibly won't do a tutorial for it though, so you might just get a, a signed copy. And then what's this? Some pots. So that's nice. I, I, I love the scenery myself because, and it's a shame Austin's not getting this and he could just be changing up his bases. He can put some pots on some things. So these will be nice. These will be on a base coming soon in the future. There'll be an interesting item to paint, a bit of a terracotta pots, I think. So that's nice there, pewter, nice metal. All of the, all three of those miniatures sets or guys were pewter. So all metal, they're really heavy, surprisingly. But that'll be nice. Make some more interesting bases. Then finally, got a couple of paints and these are army painter paints. That's nice. And two colors I don't have. So unless chaotic red, that could be a match to something I have. What's that? It could be Abomination. No, it's too dark for Abomination Gore. Could be the Crusted Saw, potentially. I'll have to double check. And then Angel Green looks like a green I don't have. So that's like maybe, I don't know, who knows, Goblin Green, something like that. But yeah, two paints. Nice, nice. Couple of, couple of pounds worth of paints there. So I think as normal, I'll just check the values for you and let you know at the end, you know, whether we're quids in or not. As I mentioned, link in the description below with a little discount if anybody's interested in trying this out just try it out for a month that sort of thing thank you very much hey guys as i said be back just to run through some prices i thought i'd just talk about them a little bit more because for the first time i just discovered quite a lot more so first of all this little thing i mentioned it the first time it appeared in the boxes and i think it was a great idea and it's just getting better and better it tells you a lot more about the products now and really interesting things about the sort of spread the randomness it was one of four available it tells you the four you might have got which i think is nice i'd like to know what other people might have got tell you about you get two paints but it doesn't tell you all the colors obviously that would be ridiculous but then it mentioned this so this model is actually a guy he's a king <laughs> so i thought it was a woman and this was limited edition uh it's by an artist it's i, I don't know this book but it's semi well known so it was limited edition they were they were numbered who knew? I didn't know. And so one of the lucky model box subscribers actually got a signed copy by the artist of that, which I thought was quite cool. Tells you a bit more about this. And it was one of six model variations. Which one did you get? You know, I just I'm really, really, really liking this little leaflet they've started including. I think it's the, the it's getting interesting and more informative, should I say? Um, I, I still I did suggest to model box themselves. I, I I still think they could squeeze in. They have a competition each month. If you don't know, you can paint up one of these models and enter. And I, I think they should be showing you the previous month's winner somewhere on here. So showcase the winning result, that, that kind of thing. I think this text could be small. It's nice that it's big. You can read it at a glance. But when I'm speeding through the unboxing, I can't read it fast enough. I need to, you know, pause and, and take it all in afterwards. So I'd, I'd make the text smaller. Get a picture. Let's show off show off these winners. I think that would be something nice to do for the, the community. The, the community behind Modelbox is really, really nice. I'm on the group and it's really, really chatty. It's, it's nice to watch, nice to be involved in. So anyway, let's talk about the prices a little bit. Um, it also tells you in, in, in the pamphlet now where, where, where and who makes them all, so it's miles easier to look up. So this first, the bases, the paved effect bases. So these are four pounds seems okay a little bit expensive maybe i don't know i don't buy many bases but what's that one two so the 50 pence each but it is what it is then we had these tufts you know these are available in lots and lots of places about three pounds 60 is the cheapest i found so we're at about 460 for this um 760 even can you even do maths bro and then you've got a couple of paints again available in quite a lot of places you get them from army paint themselves that sort of things these are 180 each so another 360 there so what's that seven uh, 11 ish 12 ish pounds not too bad so far then this guy's as i said limited edition i've got number 271 I'd be, did anyone get number one that'd be pretty exciting who got the signed one let us know in the comments below if you were the lucky lucky winner but yeah this is 11 pounds quite expensive so you know you're getting you're getting one expensive high-end product in this 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 box here so that's about 22 pounds so that there is about the price of the model box itself so we could kind of consider it that's covered and for my for myself i actually want these so that's great so far this i bet this is the competition so i'll be painting that for the competition because if you ever win the competition 
Woo! Quids in, boys. Uh, <laughs> so then you could kind of consider the rest of this being free. Harry Bow, you know, 20 pence. Um, that did not make it through me looking up the prices because I was very hungry and they were delicious, but not, not a huge price there. Then you've got this. This is a queen. This one it took me a while to find this specific one. It was one of six. Um, th these guys, these dark fable, they seem to make a lot. You can see it here. A lot of cool looking monsters, lots of creatures that I've never heard of before. Lots of sort of nude models, if that interests anybody. I'd be interested to paint one. I bet it's ridiculously difficult. So they, they're, that's quite an interesting sight. This model itself was five pounds. So we're about five pounds in profit now and then you've got these pots as well these are about two pounds fifty so you get about it's about thirty pounds worth of stuff here and it costs twenty one pounds so you you know it's pretty good value for money especially this month this was great uh, a lot of stuff that i am going to be using I paint one of these for the competition these pots will definitely get used and you can never have enough paint in my opinion so then finally i'm going to put a link to all of these projects because I've just looked them up for the prices. I'll put a link in the description below to each one of these individually if you'd like to go and check them out, buy them, whatever. Let me know if you find the link useful. Do check it out or even if you buy anything, just like to know how these products come across to you guys and let me know if you've got model box and which one of these you got. There were so many models on this site and some of them look super, super cool and I'd be very jealous if you got any of the cool looking ones. <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hope that was enjoyable and informative.